Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Trish is dying to know. I am. Hi, Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi Cal. Hey Cal. Yay. What are we talking about? Trace? Oh, I just thought I'd do a, um, a quick uh, little information session on oh. um, things you probably don't know about coffins and the fact that you can actually take the coffins home with you before the service right if, without the body in okay okay so many questions now how do you get it home it's big uh, we deliver it oh delivery mm. yeah. okay why would you want it okay so the reason people take coffins homes and these are usually um cardboard coffins or you can some um plain coffins um or to decorate them paint them and write on them oh nice yeah, what sort of things have you seen when they come back? What do people do? Okay. Uh, the most common one uh, is the indigenous culture. They um, take usually either the cardboard co coffins home or the plain white coffins and they do all that um, art with the hands and oh, the dots. Oh, stenciling. And, or you know, they do where you put your hands on and you, yep. you flick it and all of this kind. So oh, wow. we've had some amazing coffins from the indigenous community and families so they usually and what we do is we'll deliver the coffin they'll decorate the coffin um and then we'll go back to pick the coffin up and bring it back ready for the service because it's not the sort of thing you can just put in the back of your car no not if you've got the little i20 it's not even a fish <laughs> <laughs> okay cool all right what else um, a few years ago a family took a coffin and they um did this amazing art of um, the Serengeti, all oh. hand painted. Wow! Of the animals and the uh, sunrise, and it, it was. It was there a story behind that? Had the person always wanted to go to Africa, or I think the person um, had travelled there many times, and it was one of their favourite places they had visited. So, it, this was just a fabulous artwork and real good That's artwork. Lovely. And we, I've had. Um, coffins where they, they have got lots of family photos and um, had them wrapped on the coffin. Mm -hmm. um, we could also do that if they were. Like wrapping as in when you wrap a car? Wrap a car, yeah. Like um, the vinyl? Yeah, yeah. Or just pictures actually put on. But a lot of the times we've had where we've got children at home drawing and writing messages. And we get a lot with lots of messages inside and on the lid, on the inside of the lid pictures in there so the person lying in the coffin can read them and have a look at the pictures of families have their and love letters. all around them yeah so Isn't it's just lovely? a thing I would, you need to think about you know it's simple it's easy and it costs no extra to have your coffin decorated yourself and those little cardboard ones are quite inexpensive aren't oh, they yeah, they're like yeah. under 200 dollars generally yeah, yeah. sort of yeah so you can <clears throat> You know, you could decorate your own coffin. I you could even go and get one now and take it home and have some time to work on it. Who yeah. knows how much time, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought it was a little thing I thought people don't know about is you can decorate your own coffin. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah, well, thanks so. for sharing. Information yeah. session with Tracy. Yay. Do, 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 do. Uh, any questions, guys? Just write below, like, share, throw the questions out. Yeah, we need questions because... Tracy thinks that what she does every day is normal and mundane <laughs> and things don't sort of spark with her as that they would interest other people. Yeah. Uh, and pretty much everything Tracy does interests me and everything Tracy does would interest a lot of you if you're watching this. Yeah. So um, maybe to jog her uh, thought process a little bit. And um, But, yeah, it's always interesting. It's it always is. an interesting chat, Trace. It is. It is. Until next time, Thanks guys. for joining us. See ya. Bye, Carl.